Let's do the mash. The Kaiju Mash. Hey, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to this crazy day that we're going to be talking about Godzilla and Kong. So this is going to be interesting, everybody, here on Two Geeks and a Microphone. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Welcome to Two Geeks and a Microphone. I am your co-host, Mr. Stephen Boster, along with the one, the only, Mr. Michael Shanks. Mike, say hey to everybody. Good morning to all you geeks out there in Geekdom Land. Get ready for some kaiju good goodness this morning. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And then we also have Mr. Theron, too cool. Lowry Theron, say hey to everybody. Hey, hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? And then we've got the mistress of evil herself. No, I'm just kidding. We've got <laughs> Megan with us. Megan, say hey to everybody. Hi. <laughs> the mistress of evil. Wow. Did I become Elvira? Oh, that's true. <laughs> that, that, that is Elvira. <laughs> oh, Elvira? Oh, yeah. Elvira. Well, she's the mistress of the darkness, yeah. but or dark. Mistress of the dark. <laughs> Yeah, that's fun. Oh, it's an Yeah, I like Elvira. Now Elvira is cool. we'll do the, we'll do the the mistress of geekdom because Megan, for everybody that doesn't know, is also on the Geek Girls podcast along with uh, Angie, and um, and so that's going. How's that going, by the way? Good. Uh, we've had what three, four, or three, four, four episodes. Nice. Three or four episodes. One of the two. There. Nice. They're our spinoff show, by the way. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> they're like, we're like we're like uh, uh, happy days, and they're like Mork and Mindy. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my yes, god. Hap, uh, Mork and Mindy was a spinoff of Happy Days. What? Right. No, Mork it was Mork. not. Yes, it was. What's you want to bet? What? Once I get mine up, I'm like, it's gonna be an episode I'll, of good times. So I'll bring right now. I'll bring the I'll bring the, the queen of classic TV in here and she'll school you. <laughs> <laughs> no, Mork made an appearance on uh Happy Days. He was going to steal Fonzie's cool, and that was the first appearance of Mork from Ork. And uh the characters was uh, there <laughs> we're into right now, chiming in. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. Uh, the the queen of classic TV right there, um, <laughs> but he was going to steal Fonzie's cool, and uh, the character went over so big that um, oh what's his face uh, Lauren I I can't Lauren Michaels I think Lauren Michaels uh, -huh. uh he decided to create a new TV series with what Robin Williams playing Mork from Mork now granted Mork is, uh, from oh Gary Marshall was the guy Gary Marshall. The Gary Marshall, Marshall, that's it. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Penny you Marshall's like father. Way too much about this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. I told you, I'm married to the queen of classic television. She knows everything about classic TV. Oh, so. rough for her feathers. All right, all right, I get you. <laughs> uh, Laverne and Shirley was also a spinoff of of uh, Happy Days. I mean, heck, we could do a whole episode on spinoffs. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's cool. Right on. Yep. All right. Well, hey, let's get this party started, even though we actually already have. <laughs> uh, all right, Mike, what do we have first up today? We have Geeky News. Let's do it. Okay. So I'm excited about today's Geeky News. So back in November, I believe it was, DC Comics had released the alternate ending of the uh, uh, death in the family storyline with uh, where Jason Todd was uh, killed by the Joker. Um, right. Now we were, we DC. were in, we were yeah, seniors in high school when that came out, if I remember right. And uh, it was, the whole, well, was it a call in? Was it a call in you voted? That's yeah, how it yes. Yes. There was, there was two one nine hundred numbers. Um, 
because it was one nine hundred because you could charge for one nine hundred and you couldn't charge for one eight hundred. Um, so there were two one nine hundred numbers, and one was you call it in to vote if Jason dies. One you call in if Jason lives. I called in for Jason to die. <laughs> I was angry back in the day, bro. I did not like the Jason Todd, Todd character. I could not stand him. I hated him. Um, I, I have different feelings about him today, he, but I like him as the Red Hood. I think the Red Hood. Is, say, the Red oh, he's got a great character thing. arc. Oh, Everything the Red Hood did with him was a great character arc. Yeah, right. Yeah, but that was after he died. See, he had to mm. die to become better. <laughs> Become much more better. I bet you don't say that about Raz al Ghul when he dies and he becomes better. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. Do you say that about Raz al Ghul when he dies and he comes back from the Lazarus pit? You don't come well, back Raz al Ghul just becomes range. more insane. Oh, well, that falls into Jason's... Anyway. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. We're slipping out of control here. So, anyway, uh, back in November, they had, they had released the alternative, what if Jason, you know, if Jason Todd lived. So now, uh, this, this month, and I'm going to run to Fantasy after we get off the air and go ask uh, Ashley to put it on my pull list, but, but uh, this is all part of the DC Vault series, and they are going to do Death in the Family, Robin Lives. Well, they did Death in the Family, Robin Lives. What happens after Jason Todd survives his encounter with the Joker? So, and then they give a... <laughs> Have a little bit oh, of the artwork. Yeah. Wait, you've yeah. got all the villains looking up. There's okay. Uh huh. So yeah, they so give a everybody bit. for those who are listening to the show uh, by audio. We're reviewing some of the black and white, the pencilings of what's going to be part of that. So oh yeah, looks like this. Jason lives. Jason lives. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if he kills Joker and then they throw Joker into the Lazarus pit. <laughs> What happens to someone who's always already crazy when they come out of the Lazarus pit? Yeah, what happened? You resurrect a crazy person? They go even crazier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's just my guess. Effect. So that's all I got for the geeky news. But um, okay. yeah, I'm cool. super excited about this. Uh, this looks good. We may have to go over these issues, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a episode in, in the making to me because yeah i i i'm a huge fan of death in the family it's one of my top five batman all-time favorite batman stories um mm -hmm. and i loved it when they came out with the alternative because it was like you know it was one of those things uh uh you always wanted to see because you knew there was artwork for it if he had actually lived because they, they actually di did it back in the day, both ways in case the vote went the other way. Yeah. And it was always in the back of everyone's mind. So what, what would it look like if he lived? So we got that. Now we got that. So now we get the continuing story of how Jason would react. Okay. Um, after now, he lived. This is kind of the else world's, thing that i would get into versus a multiverse if that makes sense right oh, yeah. and i don't i don't if? i don't really consider this multiverse um yeah this is more of a what if than a multiverse yeah. exactly this is like more of a what if type of deal right cool so okay so so you don't poo poo on this one huh like, <laughs> yes. don't we're not going in different thing. dimensions <laughs> right exactly That's it's right. just uh, what would the story have been had it went the other way? And I, yes. I enjoy that too. I think that's cool. All right. That's it for my geeky news. Um, should we move on to geek dark? Sure. Yes. Okay. Go with the radar, sir. What's wrong with it? I've lost the bleeps. I've lost the sweeps and I've lost the creeps. The what? The what? And the what? You know, the bleeps. <laughs> the sweeps. <laughs> and the creeps. <laughs> It's not all he's lost. All right. So for Geek Dar, um, mm -hmm. this is a little bit of history for me and Steven. So this came hey. up in my memories on Facebook 10 years ago today. What? I had posted our picture of us with Manu Bedit Deathstroke himself. So he was super nice. He was. That was so he fun. I was surprised. And he's also shorter than I thought he'd be. <laughs> he's from New Zealand, I believe. Yeah, he's 
Yeah, he is. He's from New Zealand. Yeah. And and he invited Stephen to go uh Stephen and I to go up on the the, on the panel stage with him. <laughs> we 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 ended up bumping into him walking on the way to his panel. And he's like, You guys coming to my panel? I'm like, Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, You can come up on stage with me. He's like, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Had that happened today, I would have went, hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. You're going to plug the podcast? <laughs> yeah. Because I think he recognized, because we had just gotten our picture taken with him a little bit earlier. So I think he recognized us from getting picture taken. And yeah, if you notice, that. he's wearing a green arrow necklace there, too. And yeah. I think, didn't he give that necklace away during the... He he did. There was this one guy that was there. It was kind of telling his story and just telling him, thank you for just his acting and, and being a part of the show. And that show helped him in his marriage or something like that. And he was, uh, you know, and he was, you know, so he gave him the, he gave him the arrow, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. Um, actually I just remembered that when I uh, sitting here looking at the picture, I was like, Oh wait, yeah. yeah. Hey, you thought about that special guy. happened about that necklace and right. So, so yeah, ten years ago today we met Manu Bennett. Uh, Gosh, ten years ago, dude. Feels like a lifetime, doesn't it? Oh, I mean, Steve looked like he had a six pack at the time. I don't know about now though. <laughs> uh, I think you're looking at Manu. <laughs> yeah, I think you're looking at Manu. I, yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Okay, well, that's my Memories. geek. Talk, so. Memories, that's nice. Thank you for sharing that. That's pretty cool. I thought it'd be fun to share it since since it came up in my memories this morning. I was like, I don't really have a geek dar today, so that is my geek dar. So my geek dar is us, Stephen. Yay! <laughs> the only other geek dar I have is go Battle Hawks. Today is the home opener. I'm going tonight, and I can't wait. Some turkeys. All right. Right. Turkeys, <laughs> Gakaw. How's that? Yeah, oh, that's law, baby. <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> we are going to the battle dome, and I can't wait. All right, we ready for the main event? I yeah. am ready for the main event. Let's do this. It's time for the main. Event. In a battle dome. They coming out with a uh, yes, battle dome. They did uh, the mash. The cage, you mash. They did the mash. It was a continuation of mash, world mash, size mash. smash. That was so. uh, pretty clever, Stephen. <laughs> I think Matching you up, uh, monster mash. I was with I, I was do. inspired by the title that you made, actually. So nice. I got to give kudos to you. So nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> That's cool. very good. I, I really like that one. That was that was cool. Hello from All Australia. Right, so, oh, okay, cool. Who's from Australia? Sam Roger. I just Darren's it. over there doing his own show, man. <laughs> My fault. Go ahead. Oh, you got it. I think he's reading in our comments. <laughs> yeah, it's in the comments. Oh, okay. <laughs> good morning, Sam. Ah, oh, Aussie from Down Under. I think mm. I think Hello. Sam's probably joined us before. Um, I know we've yes. had a, I know we've had a couple Aussies join us, but um, well, uh, thank you to all of you down there and the down under. Appreciate it. Hello, Sam. I hadn't Speaking switched of, over the comments, so I hadn't seen it. Speaking yet. of which, that's probably would have been a better battlefield in Australia for the for the monsters to fight versus in the city. I'm pretty sure no people was harming that whole entire production so wait a minute so you 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 would have preferred that godzilla destroy australia than than uh egypt <laughs> yeah <laughs> and, rome. And, and rome and stuff oh he didn't really just uh he didn't really uh destroyed rome he just slept there he just yeah he just slept there i love that i love that, that. i absolutely cool. love it <laughs> he's the coliseum man that was dope yeah Yes, Stephen, you said you hadn't seen it yet. For me, it's the night time. But oh, nice. <laughs> sorry, Sam. <laughs> Here Good it's evening, morning, Sam. So. <laughs> Good, Good evening. evening. Sam. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Here it's morning. So, <clears throat> um, but anyway, yeah. Uh, speaking of nighttime, Godzilla mm -hmm. 
did sleep in the Colosseum in I Rome. <laughs> he yeah, used he it. Actually... He used it like a little pet bed. <laughs> it was I great. Love that. Yeah. Mm. That's it awesome. was so funny, man. That's awesome. Uh, okay, so we're talking. Mm -hmm. We're talking Godzilla. How do you say the name? Is it Godzilla X Kong or what's the what's the official title? Well, uh, I mean, it's spelled out Godzilla X Kong. Um, yeah. Some people are calling it Godzilla and Kong, though. It is really. Yeah, because uh, there's mm -hmm. not. Well, there is. Here you go. You have uh, approval from. Awesome. Oh, he has. Yeah, he, he has. That's exactly what I'm saying. They wouldn't have to. They wouldn't trample over each other. I'm sorry. I don't want to get too far out of the weeds, but that would have made much better sense for them to do it. But they did it in Egypt. It was not that bad. <laughs> cheers. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> yeah. Cheers. Much more better. Yeah. Nicely done. Okay. So we have an Aussie approving with, of the idea of Godzilla and Kong yeah, battling. He's for the whole entire country, by the way. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Sam is the complete voice for Australia. The ambassador for yeah. not supposed to fight on their land or turf. <laughs> Congratulations, Sam. We just need the ambassador no, of Australia. The they're, they're good. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So just for our, our audio listeners, there's a lot of empty land in Australia. Godzilla could stomp around and not kill anyone. That's what <laughs> Sam said. See? See? Look. <laughs> I yeah, like how I, yeah. I like how you're looking out for humankind, Sam. That's that's cool. <laughs> I mean, you may harm some kangaroo out there. I mean, but who cares? <laughs> well, those kangaroos might want to try and fight him because yeah, those kangaroos jump in afraid. Yeah. They, have you they're, seen those videos of kangaroos fighting people? They're vicious. Yeah, man, they're they're, they're total they, badasses. They, they look like they got the same build as Godzilla. If you yeah, yeah, they do. They do, <laughs> and they got longer arms. Too, yeah, I look yeah. like they should be so cuddly, <laughs> but they're not, they're mean. <laughs> Same with koala bears. Oh, really? Mean. Koala bears are mean, koala too? bears are mean. No, they're you not can walk up and hug them. I'll are definitely koala? do that. Walk up and hug a koala bear because they look so lovable. You should do that. And, and then, then they're gonna <laughs> and act, you're gonna get your face small, <laughs> right? They're gonna act just like the little baby Kong did in, in this movie. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what. Oh my goodness, that was great. Okay, okay, we, now wait, we let's. Okay, it. now so you know up. this is a nice perspective for me. <laughs> I haven't seen it, everybody, so I'm I'm curious to hear. But first, I need to hear. Okay. The overall. Okay. What's right. the? We'll do the storyline. Let me know what the storyline is, kind of in general, and then without spoilers, just the general sure. premise. Oh, I okay. could bring it up. Why don't I just bring it up and see what the things okay so somebody go and give me your your overall score what you thought all right who wants to go first and what What's a scale yeah what are we using for a scale in this one um so well is it actually bears this is true oh, wow that's new they're more uh, mercy bear mercy wow we, we've turned into uh uh animal kingdom here on two geeks and a microphone <laughs> you know how many koala bears i had when i was growing i had an obsession with bears i had care bears this episode had... brought to you by mutual of omaha <laughs> <laughs> sorry oh my i just heard that as a kid funny. i remember I that too bear. oh, oh that's a it's not a bear my fault. Go ahead. Okay, so uh, it says Godzilla and the Almighty Kong face a colossal threat hidden deep within the planet, challenging their very existence and the survival of the human race. That's kind of a vague statement, yes. but all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, it's really vague. Very vague. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right, we Mike, still didn't so come up with the scale. What, we I, I was going to say, what will be the scale? Do we want to use? We want to use crazy. eight uh, little Kongs. Do we want to use? Oh, eight Kongs? oh, that, I, okay. Uh, yeah, we can use little, little Kongs. Sure. Um, oh my goodness! Even, I love did, it. He even, has a name. I want to figure. It out. Even though he started out. Kong. No, no. They gave him a name, and I just don't remember. I saw it somewhere. Oh, they did. Oh, they did um, say something about it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't remember what his name. Well, everybody really pretty cool. much. Because, like, uh, even the bad guy, he's got a name, too. I, was it Scar? Uh, yeah, it was, uh, I think it's Scar. It Scar. Scar, Scar King. King That's yeah. it. Scar mm -hmm. King. The bad guy was Scar King. Um, so, yeah, we'll go with Little Kongs. Uh, Suko. Right Suko. Oh, boo, 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 oh right you got here. a Scar King. I got cool. the cup, man. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I got the I cup. Look at Boom. You. That's yes, cool. Well, dude, yeah, you should have done that for Geek Dar. You didn't tell me that. <laughs> this is a That's geek pretty neat. Yeah, okay. I all right. <laughs> you guys, you guys, uh, you're, you're in Alton, right? 
I always forget. Oh, uh, Edwardsville. Yeah. Edwardsville. So you guys got an AMC theater, don't you? Yes, sir. Okay. See, we got Marcus here. Marcus never gets anything cool like that. That's because we're much more better than you guys. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Dude, they had all types of stuff. I was going to go back up there and give Dude, me some the more president and Marcus, he does his own camp marketing campaign before the, the uh, movies and stuff, and he drives me crazy every time he comes okay. on. I'm like, shut up. <laughs> so the geek wrangler is coming back in to get us back on topic. All right. Yes, sir. All go right. ahead. Okay. So, Megan, what was his name again? Suko. Suko. All right. Suko. So uh, this movie is kind of, uh, it's not your typical Godzilla versus Kong. Um, <clears throat> Kong and Godzilla have to come together to fight a common enemy in this. Um, because if, if they don't, that the enemy is going to make it to the surface because he's coming from, well, spoiler alert, sorry. I wasn't supposed to give spoilers, but he's he's coming from Middle Earth or whatever, you know, whatever they call the center of the Earth where where they took mm -hmm. Kong in the last uh, movie. Hollow? I think Hollow Earth. Earth. Yeah, Hollow Earth. Yes, thank you. No. Thank you. Um, he's coming from Hollow Earth, and he'll take over the the surface world if 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 they don't team up to stop him so so, uh, so the two of them have to team up and stop them um, I'm not going to say this is the best Godzilla King Kong movie ever um, but but it is a ton of fun Ooh. it has I mean, a lot of action it is very it, much a, yeah, action if you're pack. looking for a popcorn munching monster kaiju uh, mm. monster yep. buddy cop movie because yeah. A monster That's buddy, it, a kaiju buddy cop movie. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It's a kaiju buddy cop movie. Okay. Uh, I love it. I, okay, I was a, just, just waiting, waiting for uh for King Kong to roar or for Godzilla to roar and say, Do you understand the words coming out of my mouth? And King Kong dun, goes, No, dun, dun, nobody dun, dun, understands dun, dun, words coming out your mouth. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Forward. Actually, hold on a minute. There was a one. That there was, was a Rush scene hour. where it was he was yeah. trying to get him to understand, but Godzilla mm -hmm. was so you know they're both territorial. That's the reason why Kong stays in Hollow Earth and Godzilla stays on the surface because of how territorial they are. And plus, on the surface, there are also uh, kaiju's spread it all out, so they all are territorial themselves. I'm not. That's not right. giving away a spoiler. That was actually explained. In right. The that was been established in previous. Yeah, that's that was already been established, established throughout Monarch. Right. Yeah. So as long as they don't um, go into each other territories, then they're fine. Right. Exactly. So uh, being <clears throat> that this is a buddy cop Godzilla movie and it's just so much fun, I got to give it an eight, uh, eight out of ten. It's just, it is not. It's not the. It's not Godzilla minus one because Godzilla minus one is almost as close to perfect as you can get for a for a Godzilla film. But man, this is just a fun, fun movie. And, so and the great eight, eight thing out is of ten what? Eight out of ten what? Eight eight out of ten Sukos. 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 Uh, mini Kongs. Right. Mini Kongs. Mini -Kongs. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you could. We can't use the battle axe because I mean, even though the battle axe was actually a thing, he the, what Kong uses on a routine basis. But you know the uh, what's it the Skull Kong him him he has a like a whip and chain type of deal. So yep, I don't I don't know what that and, and that little the M piece is it like a controlling mechanism. But yeah, yes, yeah, it's, it's actually it's not, really good. It's not bad enough that they're giant monsters. Now the giant monsters have to have Got weapons. weapons? <laughs> uh, imagine that, right? I can't wait to see yeah, that's uh, true. Planet of the Apes. <laughs> yeah, they got they got weapons and they have pets now. <laughs> they got weapons. They can ride on things. They right. can. They know how to do jujitsu because they was doing some crazy monkey kung fu, boy. I ain't gonna lie to monkey you. Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I go, it was Everyone crazy was how they were kung fu fighting. Yeah, they called, were literally like, kung, kung fu fighting. Mike, uh, I'm sorry, Scar, Steven. Scar Kong is what he's called. Yes, I think Scar it's Kong. Yeah. yeah. Yep. They were literally kung fu fighting. <laughs> kung fu fighting. I love that. Yeah. That's what, yeah, I'm serious. Kung, kung fu fighting. Yes, sir. That's, yes, sir. Darren's taking ownership of that one. That one. <laughs> that's yeah, a good that one. Yeah. 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 We might have so, to put that so, on So a far, we've got the kaiju mash, and now we've got kung. Everybody was kung fu fighting. <laughs> 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 All right, That's so fun. I give it an eight. 
Okay. Um, yeah, I, I would I would definitely give it uh, high marks on this one. So I'll, I'll go eight two because I laugh a lot throughout the movie. I'm gonna take away the uh, human element, the human uh, logic, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take my my scientific hat, <laughs> take your scientific cap off. I'm telling you, science and physics. <laughs> Leave it at the leave it at the door once you walk into the theater because I'm telling you right about now you're gonna be like what? But at the same time, don't don't think too throw too far into it. Just go with it. And then the explanation of everything, the expository aspects to it, where they just right. like, oh well, this is the reason why that is happening. Just be like, okay, that makes sense. And then just you know, just take your head off. But you're there to see monsters go head to head, and and you sit there to see Kong do his business. And I love the fact that how Kong established that he's smart he's capable and he's not going to back down for nobody it, it was amazing and then you also saw godzilla do his thing and how he was able to just he morphed throughout if you notice that he actually changed oh, yeah. over time um as he take on uh as he as he take uh the the uh, essence of the other kaiju z defeats so I thought that was pretty cool, and the movie was overall badass. It was. I'm sorry for cussing, but yeah, it's 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 bad. A. I already so, yeah. I already did that anyway, Theron. So you're right. <laughs> well, I just you know, my virgin it was good. It was a years. Good my kidding. fault, man. <laughs> nah, it's all good. Man. It was good. It was a. It was a. Okay, so this one, and I will say too, it was a redemption arc for Kong in this movie that was uh uh that uh set the the precipice of like how his character would have been if it was kong versus uh godzilla because in godzilla kong versus godzilla godzilla was really the the big bad and he was the dominant one kong in this one yeah he was it was awesome it was really good movie action pack go see it it's a good movie nice all right megan go uh first off i have to say mom's obligatory Go Kong, <laughs> but she but but here's also she, her. She says eight little Kongs. Eight little Kongs. Mm -hmm. You know the funny thing is when she said eight little Kongs, I was thinking of the the play. Uh, what is it? Eight little is it eight little Indians with the 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 murder mystery with oh, the oh is is it Agatha Indian Christie? statues? Um, oh, oh ten yeah, little yeah. Indians. I think it's ten little Indians. Ten little ten Indians. Indians. That's yeah, right. Ten little I was Indians. thinking yeah. that. Yeah, you're right. It's Agatha Christie. Um, in high school, we had a play of that, and our friend Jonathan Thorne was in that play. Unfortunately, Jonathan has passed away. But um, I was yeah, thinking like was, the was ten little monkeys out. jumping in the bed, one rode out of Bumpy's head. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I don't know. And they That's never so true. <laughs> ten little Kongs jumping on the bed. <laughs> ten little Kongs Man, jumping there's the on third the bed. one. <laughs> uh, uh, You're writing these down, Stephen, for T-shirt ideas. Sorry, we're trampling all over Megan's uh, overall. Go ahead, oh, Megan. Yeah, go, Megan. Go, Megan. Uh, it was a very fun movie. Um, I love Godzilla. Um, I still like his original color better. <laughs> it's not really a spoiler, because if you've seen the pops, you'd also know it. Um, but, but he ends up changing color. I like the blue better, but mm -hmm. I still love him. And there's not much more to say, but <laughs> what's, <laughs> so your what's, your, uh, what's your score? I, was, I would say I'd go with eight as well. Eight. Okay. So okay. we're all in agreement. We all give it an eight. Yeah. All right. Um, nice. So let's go into spoiler <laughs> territory here. Oh, let's um, talk about the premise first, just like the like a recap of the premise. Other than that vague of one that Steven did, because they wasn't trying to save the human race, it was right. a bit more than that. Here, here's 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 what uh, Wikipedia <laughs> says. Wikipedia. Uh, Godzilla X Kong: The New Empire is a 2024 American monster film directed by Adam Wingard, produced by Legendary Pictures. It is a sequel to Godzilla vs Kong in the fifth yep. film in the Monster Verse franchise. It is also the 38th film of the Godzilla franchise and the 13th wow. film in the King Kong franchise. Mm. Wow, there's um, only 13. 13 uh, Kong. In the film, oh, Kong Godzilla. encounters more of his species in the hollow earth and must unite again with Godzilla to stop their tyrannical leader and powerful frost-breathing titan from destroying yes. the surface. So yes. here's the plot. 
three years after defeating Mecha Godzilla. What? Oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. In King Kong. Uh, yeah, in the verse. Yeah. Or, yeah. In the, the Kong yeah. versus Godzilla, that's they, their biggest. They became they came together at that, that point to. Go I will say I, I wasn't expecting that in the first one. I didn't see that coming. I, I like that. So okay, I so didn't. Kong, I didn't like that version of Mecha uh, Godzilla though. Uh, the the original Mecha Godzilla looks way better than that one. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Go, what'd you say, Megan? I just wanted to interject uh, with how you say it. Um, if you go by anime logic it would just be godzilla kong because oh, they the, never pronounce the x and anything that has like um for example uh example <laughs> there's one there's an anime called uh it's supposed to be called hunter hunter mm -hmm. um but it's got like hunter on the top x in the middle and then hunter at the bottom mm -hmm. so there's been I've seen discourse over that too, huh. and it's I've seen everybody mostly agree that it's supposed to just be Hunter Hunter, not mm -hmm. Hunter X Hunter. Okay, so this is Godzilla King Kong. Yeah, it, it's kind of yeah. used as a space or a comma. You know, they could have just put a dot in there. Yeah, too. <laughs> right. I guess okay. it looked cooler with an X. Anyway, go ahead, Steve. Uh, that's Sorry. okay. Uh, all right. Three years after defeating Mecha Godzilla, Kong has established his new territory in the Hollow Earth and searches for more of his kind. While on Earth's surface, Godzilla continues to maintain order between humanity and giant monsters known as Titans, killing Scylla in Rome and resting in the Colosseum afterwards. So that references <laughs> what you were saying earlier. That's kind of funny. Using it as a cat bed. That's that's pretty funny. Okay. It's exactly what he looks like. <laughs> yeah, because he even curls up. You see, see you see him in the I ocean. I think it's adorable. In the ocean. Um, let's see. A monarch observation outpost stationed in the hollow earth picks up an unidentified signal. On the surface, the signal causes Gia, the last known survivor of the Iwi tribe from Skull Island, to experience hallucinations and flashbacks, causing her adoptive mother, Dr. Eileen Andrews, to worry. Also sensing the signal, Godzilla leaves Rome and attacks a nuclear plant in France to absorb the radiation. Godzilla then heads to Tiamat's lair in the Arctic. Monarch mm -hmm. believes Godzilla is strengthening himself to face an oncoming threat. Oh man, this goes through the whole thing. So I, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just that. All right. So continue on. You guys do your. <laughs> and then you have, um, and then you have the second coming of like Mothra or whatnot that comes in there. Um, how how it was a it was a was a because they actually did this. They they explain the plot once they got to middle well, I'm sorry hollow earth and they got to the the hollow earth Iwi tribe they they had a whole description right. of what all was occurring and how it was going out and it was so happened to be how everything led it up to that I mean, led to that point not led it up but led it led to that point that the skull kong wanted to kind of you know um make his way to the surface world so therefore he can plunge the earth into another ice age if i'm not mistaken right that's the reason why yes. he kept mm -hmm. the the beast in the in the um covered in lava so it wouldn't escape and he had a little device on the end of his whip chain to control it um and it was kind of hard for him to control it because it didn't look like the beast wanted to be controlled but he had no other choice so every time he was like trying to like hey you know shoot your beam here and he was just like trying to force him to do it he was no i don't want to do it and then all of a sudden he did it anyways but um Ultimately, I think that the the fight scene between uh, Kong and the Skull Kong was actually phenomenal. It was one of the uh, that's that that was a that was a really good highlight of the see those two in in combat, and then also see the um, the the rule the ruling aspect to where all the other Kongs when Kong was trying to find his people and everything, where they were where, why he wasn't able to find them. And you know that whole control. It was a little bit like slavery, a little bit. To be honest with you. Oh yeah, it, that's <laughs> exactly what it was. Yeah, that's definitely. Because yeah, so so you got Kong. Kong is looking for family, more or less. Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. he is the last of his kind, or at least he believes he's the last of his kind. And most well, he's of, the last from uh, right Skull from, Island. from Skull Island. Yeah. And, and oh, we also learn the kind of the origin. We learn about Kong's parents. And, yeah. And, how oh. they die and everything, yeah. um, which is, that was pretty neat. I like that. Um, 
but yeah, he's looking he's looking for for other <clears throat> others like him, mm-hmm. and then he finds the little uh, Suku the the little mini Kong. Mini-Kong, he finds yeah. he finds the mini Kong. <laughs> Yeah, that little mini Kong, man, he's a little bastard. <laughs> Did you see the part? Okay, it was a part where he used him as a weapon. I oh, yeah, yeah. I that was thought awesome. that was funny. He was like, oh, I'm trying to help you. He was like, no, I ain't trying to help you. I'm trying to, like, basically, you know, uh, set you up. And he was just like, oh, since you want to do that, you bite me? And then he used him right. as a club. I thought so that was hilarious. He tries to give mini Kong something. <laughs> he, he, I think he was trying to feed him at that point because mini Kong was hungry. Suku was hungry. No, this, and, is, this is after the fact because he was trying to tell him to go take him to where he came from. The other ones. Well, this he, was like when he he, he reaches he out. To, what did he reach out to him for? Then he reached out for, for something, and Suku bites his finger, and it was like, whoa! That's why I said he's a little bastard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was. It was. <sighs> it was that point. I was like, I don't know if I like this little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, he was. He, like you know, on the fence, he was like, "Oh, this is a big." Con-. I love the fact that how he that Kong never backed down. He exerted dominance when he came oh, across yeah. any of all creatures that he came across, and even when he saw the skull, you know, um, uh, Kong and everything, he was just like, "Man, get out of here!" Like, who you think you are coming up against me? And he, when he yelled, I love how the fact that the skull Kong he seen his tooth, and he was like, "Look at this guy, he ain't real." <laughs> oh yeah, we, <laughs> we have, have to explain now. that. We have yeah, to okay, explain that. So, so yeah, again, you guys go spoilers. Ahead. So if you if you're watching this and you don't want spoilers, yeah, spoiler. stop right here. Okay, <laughs> go okay. see the movie. Pause. Yeah, we, we'll pause for a minute. One, two, three. All right, we're back. Okay. Um, <laughs> <Steven> left. <laughs> I just kidding. <laughs> so uh, I gotta see it now. So yeah, Kong. Uh, before all this happens, mm-hmm. Kong's down there in in, in uh, Center Earth Hello. or whatever. Hollow Earth, and uh, he he's got a toothache. Uh, one one of his fangs actually is 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 infected, infected or something. It's swollen, mm-hmm. and and they're monitoring him. You know, the humans are uh, monarch is monitoring him, and they realize what's happening, and they bring Kong to the surface. They get him up to the surface because they have these portals. No, I, no he, 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 he got so. He goes oh yeah, yeah. Kong did. They get don't to know it. what's wrong until he gets up there. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Kong goes to the portal. I guess he's he's expecting them to help him, and uh, yeah, they send uh, the guy. I don't. I don't know what his name was. I should have had IMDb up, but I don't. Uh, Trapper. Trapper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, was Trapper. Man, is he Trapper John MD? <laughs> anyway. I have no idea. Uh, another spinoff true. show, by the way. <laughs> Trapper John MD was spin off of, of mash but anyhow uh so he, he comes down and he actually removes kong's well he he gives him a set of give set of give <laughs> yeah uh Did y'all like his character his character is so yeah i want to talk it's about not that even funny yeah, okay i want to talk ahead. about that but right. but first he he removes the tooth and he gives him a fake tooth which is metal and it's it's like a black metal and everything. Mm-hmm. Megan looks like you want to say something. I was just looking at his IMDb page. Oh, okay. Um, he apparently played uh, the Beast in the live action Beauty and the Beast. Trapper did? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's, why I was like... That's funny. Uh, wow. So, uh, they yeah, he canal. helped. They gave Kong a root canal. Was it, is that what you call it? I'm like, yeah. Oh my goodness. It was fun. That was the first that was the first 15 minutes of the movie. He got his right. up the place. So yeah, Kong gets a root canal. And uh when mm. when he ends up meeting up with uh uh Skull uh Scar Scar Kong Scar King. Scar King. When he meet, Scar. meets up Scar King, Scar King notices the false tooth and he laughs at him. <laughs> Yeah, he put his hand in his mouth. I don't know what it is about them putting their hands in their mouths. I'm like, what? Do you, I don't know you like that. <laughs> he did. He came up and he checked them. That's the first thing he noticed. He he walked around them. Scott. I love the fact that was a really dope scene. Kong is just standing there, and he was just like, you know, the skull king. He was just basically sizing them up. He was just looking. He walked around. Uh-huh. It's, that was dope. I was I was like, yeah, I'm I'm the one that's here, 
And he was like, all right, cool. Let me see what, let me check you out. Let me check you out. And then he put his hand in his mouth and he noticed the false tooth. And he was just like, look at this guy. And I was right, just like, right. oh my goodness. I laughed so much. That was a really good Oh, that was great. Moment. It was a great moment. But yeah, yeah. They're, they're trying to they're they're trying to establish who's the alpha male right there. Yeah, that's, who's that's exactly who's the real big bad? Yep. Mm-hmm. Which I mean, that's that's appropriate in in like a gorilla kingdom. You know, uh, there's there is always an alpha male who runs the pack. And there's stuff. an alpha, and then there's also a second in command. Usually, the second in command rolls right with the alpha, but then he's going to be the one that is going to eventually challenge when the uh, alpha gets older the the right the uh, second in command typically takes over but that but it also could be the alpha male's uh children it just depends or an, uh, another one so yeah so, so what you're saying is they're like sith yeah they're, yeah for sure yeah oh, only yeah. only two only two there are yeah a only master two there are, yeah. and a princess <laughs> I was but watching a, a documentary series about uh, gorilla, uh, uh, about gorilla like uh, like tribes and stuff ah. like that. I, d- d- don't ask me. It was on Netflix. I just so happened to be like, oh, okay, I'm just gonna watch these monkeys. Act, see Brenda's uh, comment. Prince Dave monkeys, but gorillas. But yeah. Start of a grill. <laughs> Start, Start of a grill. Of grill. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kong's gonna have a grill in the next movie. <laughs> He's gonna have a grill. He's gonna come out there rapping. <laughs> That's funny. I don't think they wear grills no more. That's not what's that? 2005. Well. It ain't a Nelly thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, grills. I don't know, are do they have cards. grills up there where you live at, Stephen? They do something else. I'm sure no they comment. probably do something else. No, <laughs> no comment. They probably wear Stephen, Stephen took his grill off, so <laughs> for the show. <laughs> no, they wear cowboy hats and cowboy boots, and the, they don't have they, grills. They have Invisalign. I got it. It's take, the same thing. It's just one And they take people to the train station there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right I got that back. reference. I that, got that's that the Yellowstone reference. reference there. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's what that's they do in Montana. Point. They take you to the train station when 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 you don't do things the right way. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's, that's the Yellowstone okay, thing. All right, all right. Uh, so back so, to back to Kong and Godzilla. So back to Kong. So Kong. yeah. So after that part, um, for some odd reason, did you did you get the sense of the movie that uh, Godzilla knew something was coming way before anybody else did? That's the reason why he went and to supercharge himself in order for him to kind of go up against the the the, the end scene mm-hmm. of the movie which i thought was pretty interesting how the humans were just like oh well i need this explanation to in order to understand this and i need this explanation this is the reason why he's acting the way he's acting and i'm just like yeah i got out of all of that from people who couldn't speak english <laughs> i believe i believe that godzilla has a spidey sense <laughs> oh you think he has spidey sense no, I yes go with that yeah, I it believe. was Godzilla definitely had a spidey sense because he ended up taking that's the reason why he went to the lair uh of the one creature that was in Antarctica and then took yep. over his ability. That's why he was able to transform his dwarf fans got even longer and he was able to turn more uh what's that pinkish? Per- pinkish. Yeah. Yes, he, he turned from blue to pink. That's what Megan was referring to when she said mm-hmm. she didn't like the color change. He um, went from blue to pink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was when it he was he absorbed the radiation from from the, the other kaiju. Are you saying he became a powder puff girl? <laughs> there were he's all, a lizard, all, so he can change his sexuality well, whenever yeah. he wants. Well, I don't mean it like that from that point of view, but I mean just you know. Oh my gosh! I didn't know. I told you, take science hats off, ladies and gentlemen. Take science hats off. It ain't. It ain't gonna mean. Did anything. he go back to his right? normal color after he expended all no, the no, energy? It, no, no, it no. It was Once all changed, to, just to signify that he he powered up. Basically, that, that's the <laughs> only purpose in the the color. And change. so they could sell more pops. Well, that too. That too. Because <laughs> yeah, we saw Megan and I saw a Godzilla pop nice for the movie, uh, like a couple weeks before the film came out and it was and a pink one. megan's like dad why is he pink and i'm like i don't know because he's pink in the new movie and and i'm like i guess we'll find out in a couple weeks and sure you enough, thought it was gonna be a girl you did no but that no, was the rumor i know why there was a, there was a rumor of that that it was oh, a girl godzilla <laughs> and, yeah. and, and, nature. Yeah. 
no, all it was was it, oh, we're talking about Godzilla. It just signified a power change. That's all. So they, I think, you know. but but don't get me wrong. Wasn't Kong like? He, I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, wasn't Godzilla? Godzilla seemed like he knew what was all what was what was going on, but. Kong was kind of catching up to speed. He he was trying to warn Godzilla, like, "Hey, we got a bigger threat here. This this guy, mm-hmm. this this um, skulking, Scar. he has uh, this other kaiju that can freeze, and and he's and he's pretty much of a looming threat. So we need to team up." And Godzilla was like, "Nah, you on my surface. You get back where you belong." And then they start. That's the reason <laughs> why they started really fighting. Cool. Yeah, it's I just love like, that. <laughs> you, you go to your home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, and he was like, "You don't belong here." So that's the reason why he was trying to get him to understand, like, "Hey, there's another threat that come up here. Uh, that that is, um, that is a uh, that is out there." Um, yeah. I I think you're exactly right. I think I think Godzilla <clears throat> did um, sense that something was coming, mm-hmm. but he he didn't know what. You know, he yeah. just knew there was a threat coming, and and he knew that he had to protect his territory. Well, then Kong pops up, and he already knows that, well, Kong is kind of an enemy to him. Mm-hmm. So his natural instinct is, yeah, I'm going to kick your butt, you know? Yeah. And so that's why Save we your get... power-ups! Save your power-ups! <laughs> <Right. laughs> mm-hmm. And that's what Kong's trying to trying to convey to him. Hey, 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 I'm not here to, to tread on your territory. Yeah. I'm here for your help, you know? And yeah. Godzilla and Kong gets list. gets a power up too. He gets a he gets a power arm. He gets a right. He gets a power arm. Just I'm telling you, turn your brains off, people. When this <laughs> giant <laughs> ape gets a mechanical arm, like they're, they're Iron turning Man, Kong without a repulsive beam, beam to it, and he's able to. And this is what killed me about this situation. Okay, I'm just gonna say this right about now. So he 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 tried to stop it with the axe, and the axe froze over. Right? It was the scene where the I can't think of the name of. Can you look up the name of the uh, ice um, kaiju real quick? But that that uh, when he when he shot he the beam, yeah. And then he tried to stop it with the axe, just like how he tried to stop uh, right. Godzilla's beam with the axe. He can only do it for so long. The frost of it, frost burned his hand, and and, and they end up uh, kind of the humans in the situation end up healing or kind of giving him a mechanical or a prosthetic arm and stuff like that, so he can be able to fight. So you got to think about it. that's nothing. Well, I wouldn't call it a prosthetic wires. arm. I wouldn't call it prosthetic. Well, it's, it's, an prosthetic enhancement. Arm. Yeah. it's an enhancement me, of his arm. So to me, was, I. I I thought I thought of it more of as a cast. Okay, honestly. like a, yeah, yeah, they said it was a, yeah, like a, a cast of so as, as, when, is it exoskeleton suit kind of a thing? Yeah, <gasps> kind of Kong, Kong, Kong Iron yeah. Man. That's Iron right. Kong. It's an Iron Kong. He has a Iron power Kong. fist. He has a he has a is a mechanical fist that he he's able to like interact with and then you know use to knock out. He literally did this knocked out Godzilla, and Godzilla was just like. He was out for for a second, and then he was like, "Wait a minute!" He woke up and realized he was being dragged, and then he just shot a beam at him. I, dude, that was dope. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But, I am Iron Kong. <laughs> <laughs> but the but the the arm was to the point where he was able to block. He wasn't. He was able to block the ice giant's beam with the axe in it, but it still froze his Her arm. Name is but Shimo. He, Shimo? Shimo. Okay, so but Shimo, when he yeah. tried to block the ice beam with the arm, with the mechanical arm, it didn't do anything. It it worked as a shield. It worked as an Iron Man shield, like the invisible shield. I was like, wait a minute, what kind of metal is that? That's just regular steel. That should have froze over and broke. No, they they said it was some kind of special metal that uh, was a special like, metal for it. Yeah, it was. It yeah, was, that was being experimented. It's called right. Iron Maiden metal. <laughs> It was crazy how that was, and he was able to like, you know, uh, defend off the blast that was coming his way. And I love how the next, uh, he moves. Next movie, uh, he gets the boots like where he can Iron, fly like Iron Man. Iron Man. Um, you got me saying Iron Man now. How Shimu was able to freeze Godzilla, and Godzilla broke out of it, and he shot him with the blast. That was it. Was some pretty cool action scenes. Like oh yeah, last half that last half when they uh, when they all started to fight each other, that was epic. That was. That was much better than the Kong versus uh, Godzilla movie. And it's the much more better. Yeah, that was dope. I love that. Mm. So, 
there was an, uh, a whole lot that obviously we all loved about this film. Yeah. But this film is not perfect. There are some, nah, nah. yeah, some things about it. Like, so Theron, you brought up, uh, the guy, um, what, what, uh, Trapper, you Trapper, brought up yeah. Trapper mm -hmm. and then, and then we have the mother. Um, yes. I cannot remember her the doctor, name. Either. Uh, I can't think uh, of her, her the, the, the one that do sign language. Yeah. Now, I, they were in the last movie too, because obviously that's when she finds the girl who's mm -hmm. a part of the uh, Emu tribe, and she adopts her, and so on and so forth. So right, they right. were in the last movie. I don't remember, and it's been a while since I watched the last movie, and I need Eileen. to rewatch it. Eileen, is that her name? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't remember Eileen and Trapper being quite as annoying as they were in this film. No, Trapper was definitely in Oh my goodness. He was like, uh, have you ever seen this movie? Oh, I thought they were both in I didn't like either one of them in this movie. <laughs> yeah, well, I actually, I like Eileen's her. character, she was basically telling you everything. I, I don't really care for the human interaction in this movie, to be honest with you. The Iwi people, they didn't say anything. If you watch them, they right. did not say anything. And well, yeah. they just <laughs> stared like how they just stare, and then they well, just know what they were talking that's about. That's why they're mute. Yeah, they're mute. That's why the girl does sign language. You know that. Uh, <laughs> they communicate telepathically. <laughs> okay, you as Stephen would say, "Ash hole." Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got that it was... in before you did, Stephen. That was uh, all right. I mean, uh, okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's, I guess that's one. Uh, I, mean, I, I, I just thought it was pretty crazy. And then, oh, no, that's why uh, she the guy who, with sign language. And that's how she's able to communicate with Kong also because she knows I get the sign, language. sign language. Yeah. Right. But the Iwi people, they didn't do any form of communication. Well, they, they used, they, uh, they was saying they that had, they were doing, they uh, yeah, yeah, they, they were saying that, but you didn't know if they were being. That was like a, a, a reasoning behind it because the girl, she wasn't really doing anything to say, okay, this is what they said. If they're talking to her telepathically, well, I mean, she couldn't even like, if they were talking to her telepathically, she could do the sign language in order to interpret it, right? That's how, that's how that. I would see that scene. My, my little sister's the watching the show. Welcome, Michelle. Um, <laughs> yes, Michelle, they do use ASL. Actually, the ASL was introduced in the Godzilla versus Kong, the last movie. Um, cause that's when they introduced the, the girl of the emo tribe and yeah. yes, she does sign languages to communicate with Kong. And I, mm -hmm. I love that aspect of that film. I think that was he one of the coolest dinner, things. Dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense because, uh, people have communicated in real life with apes using sign language. Mm -hmm. Um, in fact, there's a famous story, uh, of a particular ape, um, in captivity and, uh, he, this this ape actually became friends with Robin Williams. <clears throat> they brought Robin Williams in to meet the ape one time. And I think Robin Williams learned a little bit of sign language to communicate back and forth with the ape. And when Robin Williams, unfortunately, uh, <clears throat> uh, killed himself, uh, mm. they they told the ape, they conveyed the, the news to the ape. The ape was depressed for for a long time after that, because well, they had to tell the ape that he, he well, know, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I know, I know. Say he would have took a long vacation or something like that. Let's keep lying to the ape. He ain't gonna know the difference. Like he ain't gonna go to see him in Rome if he was ever to be in Rome. Like I want to go see him. He's I want to. I mean, I miss him. <laughs> no, no, wild, I get that. Bro. I'm just, I'm just saying. I think that was a great uh, aspect to the film. That was a, a, a good, a good thing that they added to the film because it, it's something that really <laughs> happens in real life where humans can communicate with apes with using sign language. And I, I thought it was neat because it's the only Jackson time passed away. What's what is that? I said, I wonder if Bobo know that Michael Jackson passed away. He probably living his. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if Bobo knew sign language or not. Anyway, Coco <laughs> or Coco. Was, no, Coco. I'm saying Coco was the one for that. Uh, oh, that new Robin was, Williams. Yeah. That was friends with Robin Williams. Got it. Got it. So, so yes, that's an aspect of these movies that I really find cool is that they, they use the sign language to uh, communicate with Kong. Uh, great way to, great way to be able to communicate with him, actually. How uh, like Mothra in this one? Mothra was cool. Mothra is, yeah. Mothra looked awesome in this too. Like way better way. than the first one, didn't it? She's so yes. pretty. Yeah. I like her. And, 
it was fun that they they made the girl um the girl kind of uh took the place uh, if you watch the original Godzilla versus Mothra <laughs> there are these tiny Japanese women <laughs> I don't know. They're they're like they're they're literally supposed to be these tiny women, and they basically control Mothra in, in the yeah. movie. And she kind of took that that same place uh, as mm-hmm. those women did in the original film. So so there was a little bit of callback to the uh, original Godzilla versus Mothra film, and I, I think that's pretty cool calling back on on the the uh, yeah. classic Godzilla films. Paying so homage. Was I like it. Yeah, pain and on then I love to, how to Mothra Godzilla. was able to communicate. For some odd reason, Mothra and Godzilla they have a somewhat of a connection where they can communicate. Um, Moth to a flame. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. Come on, nice. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, we're on a road today, guys. Yeah, we we yeah. are funny today, yeah, aren't we? We're getting it. We're getting it in. Yeah, man, that's funny. That's a good one, Steve. <laughs> That was almost you. Brian level. Uh, I know. I can't, Brian was I am, here. Brian I'm trying to like, work yes. my way up to Brian level. I'm telling you, I'm yes. in admiration. Yes. <laughs> you, you definitely, out of the neck is you definitely not. got a little more sleep tonight, Stephen. <laughs> I did, by golly. That's all <laughs> that. I did. So, so yeah, Mothra was great. Love Mothra. Um, okay. My, my only issues with the film, again, I think. Uh, the the two human characters the doctor and trapper i think they're quite annoying through the film i get get i'll say three to be honest with you because it was the the black guy that was in there too it it was just like he was was exposition kind of thing yeah they're kind of there just to help move along the film yeah bernie (laughs) bernie the podcaster see i like bernie I like him. I, I, it was it was fun in the first one, but it was just like, can I go? Can I go? And then I'll, it was just like he was just being tailed along. It was like, why, why? But I see why they did it. He was the more he was the comic relief in the he was the comic the movie to break it to break it. Besides, up. I had um, I I identified Trapper was I thought was going to be that. Hmm? I oh, well, you wanted to like record and try to and right. every time they did stuff, he was like, move out of the way. I'm doing a recording. This wait, is wait, wait. Time. So you identify as a podcaster and comic relief? There you go. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got me. Yeah, he also relates me. with podcast and uh, Ghostbusters. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Very much. Uh, okay, I have a Stephen. For All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That was so a good one. I, I'll, 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 I'll look over him. He, he's fine. Uh, okay. Some of the CGI is a, just a bit over the top in this. Um, I don't think, uh, I don't think this is Hollywood's best CGI work, honestly. Some, some of the scenes, some of the scenes are beautiful and fantastic, but I mm-hmm. think there's some of the fighting scenes where it's kind of, uh, you know, it, it looks more video game-ish than it does, uh, oh, yeah. temp, temp post, uh, movie film, you know? Okay. Um, oh, when they yeah. were fighting in like, uh, what's that? When he was, he was fighting in. When, when they're fighting in the middle in, in like in Middle Earth and uh, oh yeah yeah I keep wanting to call it Middle Earth Hollow Earth <laughs> Hollow Earth when they was fighting Hollow Earth that was crazy when they fought on the beach I was just like yeah all those people are fighting those condos and those resorts yeah ain't nothing wrong with that <laughs> no human was harming that whole entire scene no humans all right all right I'm gonna go back to my story <laughs> with Megan when she was just a little kid when she was like three years old and and she was watching the original Godzilla film yeah, and... Bigfoot movie. I'm sorry. I'm reading the comments what? too, guys. My fault. <laughs> I didn't know there was a new Bigfoot movie coming out. Um, I didn't know either. Focus, wow. focus, uh, focus. I, it's I, I blame Michelle. Kong is Bigfoot, if you think about it, Kong <laughs> it's is really Michelle's Bigfoot. fault. She threw me off. Anyway, uh, no. Um, where was I at? Oh my gosh. I'll be having squirrel See, moments. Don't that's do that. My point. I, I have. That wasn't moments. my I, I fault. To, say stuff. to quote Han Solo, it's not my fault. It's not my fault. <laughs> um, man, I forgot what I was talking about. Dang it. Michelle, you messed me up. <laughs> I know. She did that to me, too. <laughs> <laughs> I completely forgot what I was talking about. You oh. were talking about me. So, oh, yeah. You oh, said when oh, Megan yeah. was a little girl, she was, you told so her I was something taking about. A, I was telling Megan's story. So when Megan was a little girl, 
and she was watching the original Godzilla film, and it was close to being over. And I went in to take a shower, and I come out, I come out of the bathroom, and Megan's in the hallway crying, and I'm like, "What is wrong? They killed Godzilla!" And I, I was like, "No, no, 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 he's not dead. Are you sure they shot him with a giant gun?" And I said, "Sweetie, he's in, he's in like." 20 more movies. Trust me. He's not dead. Okay. Now, she had no concern about all the people that he stepped on, all the buildings he crushed. And, <laughs> yeah, you know, who cares too. about, who gives a crap about the humans? All I care about is the giant monster lizard. Yeah. So, <laughs> so that that's that's my response to your, your comment there, Theron, about how the people on the beach are okay. <laughs> Megan yeah. could care less either. All she cares about is <laughs> giant lizard and now as an adult she's like yeah i guess this it's okay to shoot him with me yeah bullets and missiles don't do nothing to him you know how many times she's, she's still like, okay with, hey, well, with godzilla stopping the, the people <laughs> yeah i'm sure he's not watching his stuff he's just tiptoeing around people as they're going around <laughs> hey let me watch out for them kong i noticed that kong was doing the same thing too as soon as he saw like i think he crashed into a building and he seen people running for their life he was like oh crap we need to move away from here or something in that nature. But Godzilla, for some odd reason, he just pick up this extra speed and then start body slamming them. Did you see he suplexed them off a of freaking <laughs> pyramid? Yeah, it Dang. was it was almost, was almost a wrestling match. Yeah, oh, yeah, was it was cool. really good. He nice. suplexed them off nice. of a pyramid. If you want to see um, monsters go head to head, especially in Egypt, yeah, no. very yeah. Yeah. Oh my that, gosh. That would be they a good destroyed place. all the pyramids and oh, yeah. I think they destroyed the Sphinx too. Uh, I was just like, yeah, "Oh my gosh, it. they're destroying." Oh no, that's that sucks. Yes, there's not uh yeah, culturally I'll be I'll be ticked off. But then again, uh -huh. I mean, hell, it don't make a difference. I mean, they destroy like Paris and all over the place uh, cuz he went to Rome. He he was in uh, Rome. He was he destroyed one of the um What's that? Uh, it was a it was happening in an opening scene or whatnot that uh, I think it was Godzilla. He destroyed one of the monuments in Spain, and they were like, "Oh, tell the Spanish people we'll deal with it as monarch." <laughs> I was just like, "What are you talking about?" That was like a, a cultural uh, a, a thing for them. I think. Well, now they sh they they showed Christ the Redeemer, but I don't think they actually destroyed Christ the Redeemer. No, you talking about Rizzo de Janeiro? Yeah, yeah, they didn't do that. It yeah. was like that one. They it just showed it being frozen over. But in Spain, right. they destroyed that uh, bridge. That one. Uh, oh, okay. I can't think of God, and I gotta look it up. It's the the one. Uh, the one that Jesus. goes across the water. <laughs> no, it doesn't go across the water. It's actually a pretty pretty. Uh, pretty uh what is it i think somebody just put it in there okay think now michelle's sending us <laughs> she's in this somebody gotta no yeah. it's a youtube uh, it's a yeah it's, it's a youtube, YouTube video. video it's yeah a, i'm it's not gonna show the, any youtube the videos we got landmark. banned last time we did that <laughs> only in two countries well this is true only in two countries and i think it's because it was the music from beetlejuice that's that's why yeah that's why we got in trouble <laughs> At least in two countries. It wouldn't even tell me what countries we got banned in. That ticks me off. Anyway. So it was another thing, too, is like the the government couldn't do anything. They held Monarch in, in, in um, they held Monarch in uh, responsible for not being able to control Godzilla when Godzilla was going all over the place, you know, doing things. They was like, you need to bring these monsters under control or we're going to shut you down. They was like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's like if you shut us down, you can't do anything about it. This is true. I mean, monarch monarch's the one who pretty much controls everything, and I don't know. I kind of get the feeling monarch is the government. So, yeah, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I think they're controlling <laughs> the government too. At least it, it seems that way to me. Um, anyway, what, I, was your, I, what was the best thing to you? I love the scene where they were when they did the slow motion where you had both of them going together. And then you seen Kong riding on the side of riding on the side of Godzilla, and then Skull King riding on um, the buddy cop scene. Yeah, that was it's a buddy cop. That was how does a buddy cop, Mike? I don't really I'm, because I'm they join forces. They're like you know they're they're yeah they're like uh, like bad boys. Um, yeah, sure. <laughs> a ride along? I don't see that happening. He was doing rush hour earlier. Bad kaiju. Bad kaiju. Hour? 
<laughs> so is it you say so yeah rush hour i i compared it to rush hour earlier when i said that godzilla says so, uh so don't you King understand Kong the words is out my mouth tucker and and Jackie right Jean is godzilla oh you right. are crazy sir you are crazy oh <laughs> how did you just now know Notice that connection. Uh, oh my goodness! Oh my! You, you goodness. don't understand. Don't you understand the words <laughs> coming out Godzilla's <laughs> mouth? Oh my goodness! You are something else. You are something. Oh my gosh! So I'm I'm thinking like another buddy cop moment and stuff like that. Like uh, oh wait, no, no, we, we, we got to we got to throw out a disclaimer there here though. <laughs> Remember. Right. The views shared by Michael Shanks are not the views of two geeks in a microphone. <laughs> not necessarily the views of two geeks in a microphone. <laughs> Who is you? That's, that, I, I'm just trying to make sure. Them. I'm trying to make sure the show doesn't get canceled in case I do. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> that's funny. It's actually that's pretty. That's actually a pretty good. One. <laughs> anyway, right, so. Overall, I really enjoyed this movie. I, it, like I said, it is a just a fun, fun Godzilla King Kong movie. Um, if you are looking for a popcorn munching, just <clears throat> mind numbing, because <laughs> like Theron says, you, at times you just got to kind of sh shut off your mind and just enjoy the whole kaiju goodness of the film. Because it's it's just a a smorgasbord of kaiju monsters. That's what it is. Um, I'm going to call nice. it a smorgasbord of kaiju monsters. And it's fantastic. And I do stick by it's a buddy cop film because Godzilla and King Kong join forces like, you know, like buddy cops. <laughs> That's exactly what it is after their their opponent. And then I loved uh, I loved it when 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 Kong. Well, when they finally uh um, defeat Scar, and then Kong kind of takes on the the other monster. Megan, what was the other monster's name? Shimo. Shimo. When Kong kind of takes on Shimo as sort of his pet now, um, but but he's you know it's he's more of, controlling her, right? It's more of a pet, and not an enslavement like Scar did with her. And and you got that yeah. scene with all of them there. And yeah, that's just a fantastic scene. And then my other favorite scene is Godzilla napping in the Coliseum. That's just uh, priceless. I mean, I think he's adorable. It, oh, it's so funny. I love it. I love it. I tried to find a picture of it, but I, I guess they're not releasing any pictures of it because it's too soon. Uh, you know, they want it's people to go theaters, see, right? They want people to go see it in the theaters. So, um, so yeah, you. overall, I loved it. I thought it was a great movie. Kong and, and Godzilla are both <clears> fantastic <throat> in it. I love, uh, Brenda says, I love how they became, uh, how he became the leader, but not the enslaver. Exactly. Exactly. That's, that's yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Kong, Kong, Great. and then finally Kong find his people. He did, uh, release them from, you know, under the rule of the skull, uh, Kong and everything. And, um, I thought that was pretty good. So he found like, you know, his tribe in a sense. And hopefully, right. and, and I think after that, that's pretty much when that movie ends. It don't really, they don't do a continuation. There's no post credit scene or anything of that nature. So yeah, we we it was hung just, around it was and there was no post credit scene. Um, no. So I don't know if I don't know if this. Is the, oh, you found it! Awesome. I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, there's Godzilla uh, sleeping. He's laying down to sleep in the Coliseum. <laughs> it's just like a cat bed. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I think it's so fantastic. It was That's one of the funniest things in the film. Um, but yeah, if you if you want a good just popcorn munching kaiju goodness, go see Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla Kong, however you say it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. I think that pretty much wraps up everything. Nice. Nice. Okay. Well, just like as an epilogue. I want to follow up on Michelle's thing about Bigfoot. There are three Bigfoot movies coming out. She sent the trailer to really? Sasquatch Sunset, the official Red Band trailer. So enjoy. And then there's also <laughs> a documentary called, or I don't know if it's documentary yet, called Bigfoot Grip of the Monster. And then thirdly, there was one that just came out called Amityville Bigfoot. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Well, now I got a question. It, it, we we covered in Geeky News a few weeks ago that uh, Marky Mark Wahlberg, um, him and his company are they've acquired the rights to the Six Million Dollar Man, and he's wanting to remake the Six Million Dollar Man with him being the Six Million Dollar Man. Um, and you know, in the original TV series, <laughs> billion, yeah, six yes. million dollars. Anyway. Uh, you know, in the original TV series, uh, Six Million Dollar Man actually did go up against Bigfoot. That was a big thing. Um, so maybe if Bigfoot's making a movie appear, maybe we can get a crossover with the Six Billion Dollar Man. That would be fantastic. That would be much more better. Much more better. Yay. Cheers, everybody. Nice. I'm out of drink. I'm sorry. To get one more it's, in. It's the, it's the monument in Barcelona. It's the... This the like the little arch. That's oh the oh yeah 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 okay. Gotcha. I can't. I'm I'm trying to find the name to it, but it's in Barcelona. They were definitely in Spain for sure because they had Christ the Redeemer or whatnot. Uh, that was that's not that's in Rio de Janeiro. But then again, they but they did show Spain and it was like oh my god they destroyed this monument that's a and and they was like oh the Spanish people they'll be okay. <laughs> I was just like okay. <laughs> I don't think well, the thing like, that's how that worked. The thing that I was. Most uh, uh, the Arc de, I can't pronounce it. The what? The Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I don't. I don't. That's my fake French. I don't know. <laughs> I don't well, speak French. The the thing that got me the most was destroying the pyramids. That's where I was like, oh my gosh, the pyramids. <laughs> well, you know they had to that's do. Just, that's what they was gonna do. They was gonna make. They goes. They was gonna pick a city, and then they was going to, you know, destroy said city how they normally do. And then Volkswagen actually did make a a car debut in its appearance. It was just perfect. How it was just like, oh, well, that car, it's oddly placed. Volkswagen. Oh, I miss. I miss this whole <laughs> Volkswagen thing. I, yeah, I that's, uh, that's what the doctor got into in the first in the first act of the movie and stuff like that. It was just like right there that that promo uh, for the car. Gotcha. Yeah, that's what you drew. So Volkswagen must have uh, uh, contributed yeah. some money to this mm -hmm. film. Okay, gotcha. All right. Well, I think overall we all enjoyed the film a lot. Um, mm -hmm. So go out and see it. That's all I got to say about that. Yeah. Baby Kong, right. hopefully he makes a debut and he does some more stuff. If not, then there you go. It was it was a it was a good it was a good scene. That scene where he would he used them as a club to beat up the other Kongs that was the slavers was hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. I would say if anything, uh, go see the movie because of that, because it is it's a funny and then he threw them too. <laughs> I do want to know since Kong found all these other Kongs. <laughs> sorry, mm -hmm. this just this just popped in my head. Uh since he finds all the other Kongs, do that does this turn into Planet of the Apes at this point? <laughs> Because we do no, have we a new Planet another. of the Apes coming out, so just we saying. Do. <laughs> All right, Stephen, you do your thing now. Oh, it's and okay. you can get Kong insurance, by the way. You just got to make sure you reach out to Bernie. He does all the advertising. You can get Kong and Kaiju insurance just in case if they step on your home and they, and they destroy your property, you are covered. <laughs> That's a real thing. <laughs> all right, I'm done. <laughs> on that note. Everybody check us out at our website at www.2theNumber2GeeksMike.com, G-E-E-K-S-M-I-C dot C-O-M dot com. Uh, check us out there. That is our hub for all things to geeks and a microphone. From there, you can get to our Kofi page, ko-fi.com slash 2geeks, where you can help support us. We have a $1 tier, $2 tier, and a $3 tier. All that money goes to pay for Mike's Lamborghini. I'm just kidding. Um, that gets really stepped on by Godzilla. Godzilla, model yeah, <laughs> this model car Lamborghini. Uh, right, actually, it just goes on to help pay for the show and stuff. But also, we've got some fun merch, and you can go to the website at twogeeksmikemerch.com, or you can get there also directly from our website as well. If you want to connect with us, uh, best way to do that is show at twogeeksmike.com. Show at twogeeksmike.com. We really appreciate you guys being here and uh, hanging out with us as well. Well, uh, with that, a couple of things I want to tell you about. I want to tell you about Podbean. Podbean is who we use for our podcasting service. We've used them for three years now. I'm, actually, I think we've 
first started using them a long time ago. They have upped their game quite a bit now. So just so you know, podbean.com slash communicate. If you want to try it out, do a, a little free trial that you can do up to a, like three hours for free kind of a thing. But um, you'll love it. It's the best price out there for podcasts. Now, they have just recently added Podbean AI which is an additional fee, but it will clean up your audio for you. It's pretty gosh darn cool. So it'll get rid of much more betterers and pauses. And I'm just kidding. It doesn't edit it like that. I'm just teasing. It does get rid of background noises and things like that. But the nice thing about Podbean, if you can sign up for the regular yearly, you can sign up monthly or yearly. We do it yearly because it's the best deal. The You get unlimited audio podcasts. All the other podcast platforms out there, you have to pay per hour or you get so many hours with your fee and tier this and tier that. Podbean does not do that. Plus, Podbean also will help you with connecting to all the major services and they make it so easy. They give you the instructions. They give you the links to click. They tell you what to say, all that kind of stuff. So it is very helpful. And I dare say it is much more better service out there. So mm, we love ourselves some bod beans. So check them out. If you do sign up, we, it is an affiliate link. So we do get a little bit off of your first month when you pay. But other than that, we just want to let you know because we like it and we use it. So, all right, Mike, it is up to you now. It's all you, my friend. One more thing on Podbean. Um, it also helps you get connected with all the major uh, podcasting services uh, like Amazon, like uh, oh gosh, I can't think of Amazon, all of them. Spotify, thank you, um, Apple. They did remove Google. Everybody, Google no longer does podcasts, so there's no longer Google podcast. Right. So right. Um, so if you're watching this and you you normally listen to us on Google Podcast, please go look us up on one of the other major sites because we're we're all over the place. Thanks to Podbean, by the way. Thanks to Podbean, and there were extras on Podbean. We were like. Oh, oh, that's interesting. I had no idea. <laughs> right, exactly. So that's just one more reason to sign up with Podbean. We we really like that's it. That's correct. And even right, if you so. want to do video podcasts, they actually have that hosting too. We don't do that, but right, because we do it here on YouTube. <laughs> that's right. We do StreamYard. Anyway. Uh, right through StreamYard, which and which there is a me. link in the description too, everybody. If you want to check out StreamYard, we we do StreamYard too. We really like them. All right. If you've made it this far, please make sure and go and like and subscribe to us on both Facebook and here on YouTube. Um, give us a thumbs up on Facebook. You'll get notifications of every time I make a uh, post on memes or uh, just share something that's coming up on the podcast, so on and so forth. Any information on the podcast, I, I share that over there on Facebook. And give the bell a tickle here on YouTube. That will notify you every time we go live here on YouTube and we go live every Saturday morning at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Um, I have no idea what time that is in Australia. You can ask our friend Sam who's watching us. <laughs> he can tell us. Uh, apparently it is <laughs> night over there. So again, I, I don't do math. Ahead, even. Right. I don't do math. You do the math and figure it out. Sorry. So you can start with 9 a.m. Central Standard Time, U.S. Don't do math. Um, Balance the books around the house. What's that? What? Never mind. It's Brenda. Never mind. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so with that said, um, it's Brenda, uh, I'm trying to think of a way to close this out. Nope, nope. Over and out. And uh, um. You don't understand the words that's coming out of my mouth. Nobody understands what's coming out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs>Thank you for joining us today on the Two Geeks and a Microphone podcast. Tune in next week when we will have more news and reviews. Until then, may the force be with you.